Good crack, it was class, I had a grand time. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I am Yvette. I moved to the UK two years ago and we're on a road trip around Northern Ireland, which is still the UK. Um, we are heading into Ireland later in this trip. We're currently in Ballycastle. We actually arrived here a few days ago, so I will catch you up. So we arrived into Dublin and then we have driven to Belfast and we spent two days in Belfast. Um, and I will show you that footage now. We started our road trip in Belfast with the Titanic Museum. Um, it wasn't just the Titanic, it did a lot of um, Belfast history, its industrial industry, how it, how it came to be. Um, my favourite thing was learning that um, linen is made from flaxseed, everyone. Um, had no idea. If you didn't know, the Titanic was uh, built in Belfast. Um, that's why they have a lot of the memorabilia there, as well as the how it was made and, and that it was made in the shipyard out the front of where the building is. Um, they have recreations of what first class, second class and third class would have looked like. It was amazing. A huge part of Northern Ireland's history revolves around um, the Troubles and so these are some of the murals. These are not my images, I've grabbed them online because I didn't feel appropriate filming them. Um, however, I wanted to include it because it is such an important part of the history. As you can see, it's quite affronting um, around, you know, civil disturbances. But there is also, you know, lots of British... It goes both ways. They have, you know, independent and British. Murals, as particularly on the Freedom Walls, which is used to separate them during the peak of the Troubles. Uh, Belfast was super interesting due to all of like the historical context around the Troubles, which um, I was quite ignorant of before we came, but now I'm an absolute expert, as always. <laughs> Tourists who think are an expert. Um, and now we're in Bally Castle. We will be going around clockwise around the island um, and I will take you with me. Um, but first, Daniel's gonna go touch the ocean. So he's heading to the Irish Ocean to touch it. They have sand in Bally Castle. It's off sand. Don't get your shoes you wet. It's, it's refreshing. It's not that. It's not that cold. Still gonna go swimming? No. I did back my wet to go from like my wet to. Belfast was fascinating, but that was the start of our journey. Um, and because of the tensions, I didn't feel like it was the most appropriate place to be like, hey guys, blah blah blah, blog, blog, blog. So that's why we're starting a bit into the trip, so. I didn't forget about you, it just didn't feel appropriate to the, to the people of um, Belfast. That said, we are going to Derry, which I feel like might be the same, so we'll see. <laughs> um, but then once we hit Republic of Ireland, it'll be all beautiful scenery and Guinness pubs. We are at Carrack Reed, Red Bridge. We're all butchering it. I'm calling it Crack Bridge, which makes no sense. Um, it is actually closed um, just because of COVID and maintenance issues. But I wanted to come anyway to see the view and I'll just like Photoshop myself onto the, onto the bridge. Um, but yeah, it's been cloudy morning and the sun's coming out, so I'm excited. Let's go. Next stop, Giant's Causeway. We're just gonna head there now. 
It's day like five, I think. I've been very sporadic with my filming. And um, we are at the Cliffs of Moha. We just spent the night in Galway, which I'll give you a rundown of a bit later if I haven't already. And yeah, this is where they filmed Harry Potter. So you know I'm excited. Cliffs of Moha. Then we're going to go to Limerick. And then we're going to a place called Killarney to either do the Dingle Peninsula or um, a different peninsula, which I'm forgetting, but I'll remind you when we get there. Let's go. I didn't update you, but yes, Galway is was probably my favourite um, city in the city. Uh, it's probably my favourite city on the trip. Um, this is the start of the Ring of Kerry, so it's one of the peninsulas in the southwest of Ireland. Um, as you can see, it's incredibly green and luscious with the waterfall. Um, here I am, not well dressed for the environment. The road trip is. Beautiful landscapes the whole way. We had we were pretty lucky with the weather, um, but the highlight it's just rolling hills, mountainous. There's even beaches. If you had nicer weather, probably would have gone for a swim, but we did not, as per my outfit. Um, my favourite part um, of the Ring of Kerry was the Cliffs of Kerry, which you'll see here, which are um, kind of like the Cliffs of Mohair, but they have stripes on them, which I think looks really cool. The pattern within the rock here is just stunning. And after Ring of Kerry, we head to Dublin and save the best to last, which is the Guinness Factory. So I'm back home, um, unfortunately I just completely forgot to end the video. I was just having too much fun enjoying all the Irish Guinness. I didn't enjoy the Irish Guinness. But um, apologies for this vlog being a little bit different from how I'd normally vlog just because I had friends with me so it was a bit different because I don't want to be like disruptive to their holiday and pulling out the camera and be like blah blah blah. 
Um, but I tried my best. I still captured a bit of footage, thought we'd do a bit of a voiceover to make up for it. Um, but yes. In conclusion, I didn't get to tell you my thoughts on anything in any of the clips I've realised. I really enjoyed Ireland, it was such a fun trip, it was such a fun road trip. It reminds me a lot of Iceland actually, like terrain wise. Um, Northern Ireland was incredible. Um, being able to go to Derry and Belfast, particularly after watching Derry Girls, which I watched in my Airbnb in Derry, um, was fascinating and it really... For someone who I knew, I knew a bit, I knew that there was like a civil war, do you want to call it a war? Civil disturbance, the troubles. Um, I never knew the full extent of it. Um, and it just shows you how important travel is because I know, I now fortunately know it through and through. I've learned more traveling than I could have with a documentary and that's been fantastic. Um, and yeah, Belfast and Titanic, seeing all that. The nature was stunning. Every every pub was amazing and i know there's like jokes about like irish pubs are just everywhere like globally um but they're so good <laughs> and everyone's so lovely like there was not there every single person was like so friendly um and then we we had cards and we played cards in the pub and every single pub we went into had um live music so i've captured a bit of that as you will have heard but i didn't i just didn't film at all because it was insane um, and then going to Dublin, we finished in Dublin. I saw some of Daniel's family. It's another reason I didn't film. And we did um, a walking tour of like all the grim history of, of Dublin, which was fascinating. And then we went and had dinner in a pub where a madam, like a prostitute madam, murdered a bunch of people, which was very fun, which is um, Darky Kelly's, um, which is fascinating. Didn't get to go see the Kells, didn't get to do Kiss the Blarney Stone, which I just thought with COVID's not on. Um, and I think they're the only two things, but I have Irish friends who definitely will get married there. So I will be back, <laughs> definitely. Um, and I don't mean this to be jovial in any way, but one of my favorite things was coming back from Ireland to the UK, um, particularly into, we came into Luton. Immigration, you skip it, you skip the gates, <laughs> you skip the border security. I hate it, I hate border security and that's a huge plus. And I'm not saying, you know, Ireland was boring in any means, it's just that's how much I hate border security. They stress me out. I'm not even doing anything wrong, it just stresses me out. Um, so that was fantastic. Ring of Kerry was beautiful, I loved the cliffs of Mohair where they filmed Harry Potter. Galway, Galway was like, knock my socks off. I run around singing the Ed Sheeran song to everyone's annoyance. Um, so yeah, it, it was definitely a whirlwind trip in terms of getting a lot of ground. Loved it. It was so good. I had a grand time. Thank a grand. <laughs> it was crack. Good crack. It was class. I had a grand time. <laughs> Do you know what was horrific? I didn't film it. Daniel kept doing the accent by accident to people and I was like, we're gonna get stabbed. We're gonna get stabbed. <laughs> like you'd go like, cheers. <laughs> Oh, stop it! Stop it! Oh, he did, he was he was doing it like by complete accident, just by mirroring, um, and it was too fucking funny. Anyways, that's all for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Um, remember, I am streaming on Sundays. Links will be below. I know this should be a Friday, so it's next Sunday. Just to give you a heads up. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, tell me in the comments below where I should travel to next within the British Isles. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you've been to Ireland. Underrated. Not enough people have been. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.